is Randall Sanger. I am from Williamson, West Virginia, and I am a landscape photographer, author, and workshop instructor. Actually, I was born in Chattanooga, Tennessee, around the third grade, and moved to Williamson, West Virginia, so pretty much grew up in Williamson. My parents gave me a camera for high school graduation, and uh, from there it just kind of took off. We're talking the film days too, so I wasted a lot of film uh, learning uh, photography. So did a lot of hiking, backpacking, and decided it would be cool to bring some of those uh, scenes back with me uh, on film. I was studying uh, accounting and marketing. The, the school I went to originally did not have my, the major I really wanted, which was forestry. Uh, so I got to do a lot of the, you know, the marketing aspects with the photography angle. It was more of a afterthought, um, something to do on the weekends uh, after work. You know, that's that's kind of how I felt photography was in at that time. I was more or less chasing a career instead of art and photography at that time. Basically, I had stuff hanging in my office, and, and people would see it. Like sales reps would come in, or whoever, clients, whatever, and they would see it, and then you know, started selling some stuff. So, you know, you get that little ego thing going and say, I can do this. And I was able to break away from the corporate world, start a few small businesses and run a few things and kind of gave me the ample time to work on, on honing my photography, honing the skills. And I'd always wanted to put together a book on West Virginia waterfalls. So. At the time I started thinking about it, there were no books on West Virginia waterfalls. And it seemed like every magazine um, or every gallery I went into, they just had the same dozen waterfalls in West Virginia. I knew there were more. So it just made me think, well, I can put a book together and showcase all the waterfalls in West Virginia and hopefully you know, photograph them really well too. You gotta realize this was before the age of the internet. So, you know, I was looking at a lot of topo maps and just finding a creek and walking a creek to see if there's something there. there. There was no Google Maps, no Google Earth to hone in on things. So I had to you know, do it the old fashioned way and just get out there. We uh, searched uh, for different publishing companies on this first book and uh, we went national, regional, and we just settled on an independent books uh, publisher uh, here in West Virginia. And, and they did a great job putting our book together and marketing it for us getting us out there. I was finally able to co-author a book on the New River Gorge waterfalls. Uh, waterfalls of West Virginia, the New River Gorge. And that was published in 2010. And uh, the doors just, just started opening like crazy. So then I was able to just say, I can do this full time. Getting into Tamarack was, was huge too. They've been a big help to me and uh, a lot more eyes got to see my work uh, just by people going to Tamarack. I think um, from what I'm told <laughs> is, is my uh, eye for the dramatic light and the, you know, just, just capturing dramatic light. That's what I'm all about. I kind of I developed my niche as being a kind of a waterfall shooter, but my love is, is the sunrises and sunsets. And I tell people those are my two favorite colors. There are key spots that that's where the, like the, my customers want the pictures from. Go there early in the morning, catch the, the warm morning light, maybe some fog going through the gorge as you're photographing the bridge or, you know, Beauty Mountain at sunset, just hoping for really nice light or cloud action. I do photography workshops where I, where I enjoy teaching others how to photograph the natural beauty around us. Well, I thought originally that would be a great way to, to um, supplement some income, but quickly it became more like showing off the state. Um, people want to see these waterfalls. They have no idea if we had that many. So far, I've, I think 38 different states have been represented in my workshops, as well as four foreign countries. Uh, and they're blown away if they've never been here before. Some people pass through, and, but they had no idea that like West Virginia was this beautiful. A typical workshop, uh, normally we'll start like on a Thursday, uh, Thursday afternoon, a little meet and greet and then a quick slideshow presentation just to show the folks the, the places they'll see during the weekend. Done this enough, most people want to be outside. They don't want to be in the classroom listening to me drone on. They want to be out looking at stuff and, and photographing stuff. So it's more about them getting the right spots and, and all the uh, 
suggestions they need. But um, yeah, most of the most of the I guess the education part of it is out in the field. You know, I'll, I'll sit back and watch them, especially places I've been a million times. I'm like, why didn't I think of that composition? Or why are they going over there? Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll do that the next time. So, you know, I, I learn a lot too. Uh, maybe just more or less um, a fresh set of eyes on places I've seen a million times, it seems. We all learn, you know, and I strive to learn something every day. So um, these workshops are a great way, just if nothing else, just, just learning new things about uh, people. I mentioned earlier, West Virginians are fiercely loyal. I, I'm one of those people, I'm very loyal. Um, and, you know, I just want to prove people wrong that when they talk bad about my state, you know, so I think that's one of the reasons why I like to uh, put as much of my work out there for people to see. So, yeah, I think we're very supportive. I think West Virginia is very supportive um, for the most part. There's a lot of good communities that are very supportive of the arts, do all they can. I like do art shows, art festivals, you know, pop up stuff on the weekends, night markets, all kinds of stuff where they help artisan based businesses, creative based businesses succeed. So don't get discouraged, don't give up. Um, it won't happen overnight. Many, many, many nights I wondered if I was doing the right thing for me or for my family. But at the end of the day, especially now over the last few years, that it's been pretty successful. I'm tremendously blessed to do what I love as a way to support my family. I'm not doing that nine to five crazy corporate hustle thing and getting yelled at, you know. Um, it, it's awesome to be able to do what I love as a career and to support my family. So don't give up, you can make it happen.